Hi YouTube, my name's Jeff and I'm the Veg All Guy. I received a video request this week from one of my subscribers. He'd been watching my electric foundry build and noticed the green switch on the control panel. He asked if this switch had been bought on Amazon and if so, how it was wired up properly. Well, I did buy it from Amazon, but in truth I didn't wire it up properly. Though we'll come to that in a moment, but I'm certainly happy to give a demonstration of how it should be done. It's a four pole illuminated rocker switch handling AC voltage of 125 or 250 volts. So clearly it's intended for mains use. And that means we need to be a little bit careful. Four poles means four terminals, these metal lugs sticking up here. And that's the cause of the confusion. Certainly there were no wiring instructions with my purchase and I'm guessing it's the same for my subscriber. Keeping things nice and simple for a moment, a switch is just a controllable break in a circuit. Electrical current likes to flow around and around like runners on a track. To stop the flow, we need to break the track. To get things started again, we need to bridge the break that we've made. When this bridge is open, no current can flow. But when the bridge or switch is closed, current can flow happily again. It's easy to visualize two of these poles as being the bridge supports. But what are the other two poles for? And which pole is which? Well, this switch is illuminated. It has an internal light, probably an LED, that comes on when the switch is closed, but only if the switch is wired up properly. So the switch needs two poles for the electrical current to come in and out of, and it needs two poles to power the LED. So let's have a go at wiring one right now. But safety first, make sure nothing is plugged in. The mains needs to be disconnected during the wiring up stage. Notice how the poles are offset. This is to show the correct orientation, which way is up or down. I believe convention has it that the gap is at the bottom, so this is the correct way to hold the switch. The poles are paired vertically. The right side poles control the load, the electrical vice that's been switched. The left side poles are for the LED. Starting with the main supply, the positive goes to the top right and the negative goes to the top left. Now we take the load wires, in this case an old table lamp, and we attach these. The positive goes to the bottom right and the negative goes to the bottom left. And that's it. So let's just have a quick look at what we've done. The load gets its mains positive on the top right, the switched side. The power goes through the switch, out the bottom right pole, through the load device and into the bottom left pole. Then it passes through the LED, exiting from the top left pole, which is connected to the negative mains. With everything wired, I've turned the main supply on and it's time to test the switch. I'm being very careful not to touch these poles with my bare hands, as this is live power now. And with a click, the switch is illuminated and the power device is on. Click again and everything goes off. So there you go guys, how to wire a four pole illuminated switch. But hang on, I said I didn't wire mine up properly when I used it on my electric foundry control panel. Well, no I didn't. I used my switch to interrupt the 12 volt supply to the solid state relay and frankly I couldn't be bothered to connect the LED. I just wanted a switch, so I only used the two right poles. And that's about it for this subscriber requested video. If you have something you want me to try and help you with, then please drop me a line. I genuinely do try my best. If it's possible, I will do it, but some things are a little beyond me. For instance, one subscriber asked me to buy a used car every few weeks, convert it to run on veg oil like my vehicle is, and explain how the process is done. Now, whilst I'd love to do something like that, it's way beyond my means, I'm afraid. Some YouTubers may be able to afford that kind of thing, but I'm sorry to say I just can't. Plus, I've never claimed to be a mechanic, so that time I had to say sorry but no but do feel free to pitch your ideas and questions at me. 
and I think we can call that a finished video. I hope you enjoyed this one guys, and if you did, please like it. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so, and look out for my other videos on my YouTube channel. So that's it for now guys, thanks for watching.